Pokemon Go is a nationwide phenomenon that has teens and adults wandering around the real world to catch imaginary creatures. Although it should come as no surprise when you wander around the city or countryside looking at your phone screen instead of your surroundings, crazy things can happen. Here are 10 crazy Pokemon Go moments. Number 10. Pokemon Go Disrupts Weatherman Weatherman Bobby Deskins with WTSP 10 News in Florida was in the middle of a normal forecast on Monday morning talking about the temperature when news anchor Allison Croft wandered through the weather report with her eyes on her phone seemingly determined to catch a Pokemon lurked across the office. She was completely oblivious to the very real fact that the cameras were on and her co-worker was actually doing his job. Number 9. Pokemon Go Ends a Relationship An NYC man is claiming that the popular augmented reality game Pokemon Go helped his current lover in catching him cheating. Evan Scribner says his girlfriend was able to look at his activity in the game see that he was in an ex-flames house in Brooklyn thanks to the geolocation feature of the app. Scribner couldn't find any excuse on why he was there. His now current girlfriend is now an ex-flame as well. Number 8. Pokemon Go cost a guy his job. Sunny Truyen, an Australian working in Singapore, was fired after making a rant in Facebook that the popular game isn't available in Singapore. His boss, CEO Darius Chong, posted in the company's blog that they have terminated Truyen as soon as the incident came to their attention. Truyen then reached out Mashabo stating that it was a dick move on his part and a very big error in his judgment. Number 7. People are getting injured playing Pokemon Go Social media buzzed with reports of players who suffered minor injuries from tripping and falling while playing the game. Take this guy who posted it in Reddit. Not even 30 minutes after the release last night, I slipped and fell down a ditch, fractured the fifth metatarsal bone in my foot, 6 to 8 weeks for recovery. Others posted that they too had near misses or minor scrapes from chasing Pokemon. Even though the app warns players to be aware of their surroundings, people are just determined to catch those critters. Number 6. A guy getting shot at. A popular YouTuber Lancey Poo posted his video about his trip suddenly took a scary and unexpected turn when Lancey accidentally ended up intruding someone's property while following the Poke Raider. Things escalated quickly. The league owner mistook Lancey's harmless Pokemon hunt for trespassing and opened fire at the YouTuber and his friends. Luckily, no one got harmed. Number 5. Robbers are using lures to target their victim. In Missouri, four men have used the game to find players at a specific location and rob them using a handgun. The robbers used lure modules from the game to lure players from secluded areas where they could be easily robbed. The suspects were then charged first degree robbery. Number 4. Car Crashes While tracking down the virtual creatures, less cautious players are also putting themselves at risk of car accidents as they attempt to throw Pokeballs at Pikachu while driving. A distracted driver playing the popular game struck his car into a parked Baltimore police car. Luckily, no one was injured. The driver then admits that his head was down playing Pokemon Go. And another driver was playing Pokemon Go while driving and he ended up leaving the roadway and plowing right into a tree. The driver was unhurt but I couldn't say the same with his car. The police are warning players out there to not Pokemon Go and drive. Number 3. Zombie Style Stampedes a massive number of Pokemon Go players stampeded in Central Park late night on July 14th when a Beforian showed up in the vicinity. And the result, a huge mass of players are seen converging on the spot. Some exiting stopped cars and the others are dashing across the street in order to catch Eevee Evolution Beforian. The event was captured, it sure then became viral. Number 2. Fell off a cliff. 
two men took a tumble down the side of a cliff while playing Pokemon Go, with one ending up about 90 feet down and the other about 50 feet. Both men were rushed to the hospital. Amazingly, no serious injuries were reported. There was a safety fence complete with signs intended to discourage people from getting near the edge of the cliff, but the two men reportedly jumped the fence in order to pursue a Pokemon. Number 1. Finding a Dead Body Shayla Wiggins, a 19 years old Wyoming teenager, was in search of a water Pokemon through Riverton, Wyoming. Instead, she found a dead body floating in the river. The death appears to be accidental and possibly that of a drowning. Hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for watching. Here are some videos you might like. Don't forget to subscribe!